Hey everybody, Dr. Sterling here. I'm the chiropractor at Root Cause Medical Clinic. And today I just wanted to have a little one-on-one -on -one conversation with you about something I see a lot, and that is a hiatal hernia. So first of all, what is that? So hiatus has to do with you know, your stomach, actually a hole, which is, and then a hernia is something that goes through the hiatus. So essentially it's where your stomach is protruding through this little hole at the top of your diaphragm. Now that can cause a lot of issues, obviously. It sounds uncomfortable and it really can be. So what it can do is it can cause higher anxiety, it can cause shortness of breath, it can cause a little bit of regurgitation, a little bit of acid reflux. It can cause a wide range of issues because it impacts a lot of structures. So first and foremost, obviously your stomach, so we eat food all day. Now every time that you eat something, it can often cause some problems or if you lay down on your back. So you're standing upright and you go down on your back, it can cause food to kind of go up into your throat and feel a little bit uncomfortable. Not only that, we're talking about the diaphragm here, which is like right under the sternum, right under the breast bone here, right? So not only under the rib cage is your diaphragm. Now, right on top of that are your lungs. So imagine if you, if you can't get a deep breath, this could also be something contributing to that. So if the diaphragm is tight and you're trying to take a deep breath, but it's being blocked from the diaphragm, then it's kind of like, you're like, why can't I get a deep breath? It's, it's very annoying and a little, bit, a little bit frustrating. And this could be one of the reasons why. So I have the spine here, so I can kind of show you guys some of the issues that I see and why I think chiropractic can help an issue like a hiatal hernia. So there's this nerve called the phrenic nerve, which comes out of C3 to C5. And what that does is it exits out of the cervical spine, which is your neck, and it goes down the front to the top of the diaphragm. So that actually helps the, the contraction of the diaphragm, all of the proper movements of everything like that. So obviously if you're having a hiatal hernia, then to some degree, your diaphragm is not properly working, right? So it's important to make sure that this nerve is able to fully completely function. So I like to check the neck and adjust the neck if needed, because that can impact a nerve that's directly affecting the diaphragm and therefore the stomach. Another thing is you, you have the diaphragm, which is a broad, strong muscle, which attaches from the tip of the, of, of the chest plate down to the lower six ribs, all the way down to L1, 2, and 3. So it kind of, it spans a wide area. So not only do I like to check the ribs to make sure that they are properly moving, but I also like to check the L1 through 3 to make sure that they are also properly moving because the nerves, anything attached to it, if you have a vertebra that isn't properly in the right place or it's not able to bend and move and twist, it impacts everything attached to that area and all of the nerves that come in and out of that area as well. So that is why I think that chiropractic can make a major difference in an issue like a hiatal hernia. Um, there's also some soft tissue uh, things that I can do. I can help to do a stomach pull down, which is kind of like what it sounds like. I'm actually helping to relax the stomach to pull it down through the hiatus or the hernia. So if it's a hernia, then it's a hole and it's protruded through that. So to help relax that, you're trying to slowly massage the stomach down through that hole to allow it to properly close up and not allow that stomach to push up through the diaphragm again, causing all of those issues. So, you know, in the clinic here, we handle it with a whole host of approaches. So we do chiropractic, we do physical therapy, and we also do some functional medicine. But I wanted to give you guys a little bit of the background and uh, why I think that chiropractic is an important component of handling a hiatal hernia. So if any of those issues or symptoms sound like something that you might have, or you've heard of the term hiatal hernia, or you got an x-ray or an MRI one time and the doctor was like, hey, you have a hiatal hernia, but good luck. There's actually something that can be done about it and it can also be causing a lot of issues. So if your health is not optimum, if it's causing you some issues, please give our office a call. We are very adept at handling this specific condition and we've had a lot of great successes with that. So I hope that was informational. Once again, thank you guys for watching this. You guys are awesome.